a good day everybody my name is Tommy welcome to my channel uh, today we're actually gonna start a new series a new tutorial series on Python it's a tutorial series specially made for beginners in Python if you are new to Python or if you, you are new to programming at all then this tutorial series is actually for you we're gonna be starting from scratch to an intermediate level and then we're gonna be entering into different frameworks into where you can specialize in it's gonna be an interesting series. You should stick around. Um, but today w I'm gonna explain what Python is, the advantages, and the installation. Okay, now, actually, what's Python? Python is an high-level programming language. Like it's used for developing different things. Like big companies, big tech companies uses Python. Like Google, Instagram. Instagram is actually built with pure Python. Instagram, Google. Mm, Shopify, Quora.com, yeah, yeah, just countless. And in Python, there are different ways, you, different fields in which you can specialize in. We have the blockchain technology. Blockchain is actually what the technology that that backs up the cryptocurrencies is the technology which is used to build the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, and Dashcoin, and so on. And more, the most popular when programming language used in the blockchain technology is Python and another field in which you can specialize in is the AI AI, so many of AI is actually artificial intelligence it gives robots or machines intelligence like man which allows robots to help man or think I am a man and the most popular language for that also is Python we have web development, web application development um, Instagram.com not the mobile app. Instagram.com is actually a web application which is built with pure Python. Django to be precise. Django is a framework which allows you to build web apps with Python. We're gonna get into that later in the video. We also have Flask. Flask is also similar to Django. We have Kiwi. Kiwi is 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 a frame is also a framework but it allows you to build GUI application. GUI means graphical user interface. It allows you to build graphical interf user interface with Python and what actually makes KV popular because it's the first framework which allows you to build an Android application with Python and we have Tikinta, Tikinta is also uh, a framework for building graphical user interface application we have cyber security ethical hacking so countless that's what makes Python interesting and um, now let's get straight into the installation now we're going to install two things. We're going to install the Python application on our local machine, and we're also going to install the IDE. We're going to be using to code the Python, which is PyCharm. And what's an IDE? IDE is an integrated development environment. This is like a software which allows you to to program, to code, to debug, and code, do everything you need to do with Python. Now let's get straight into the video. First, let me do this. Okay, that should be nice. And now, let's download Python for our local machine first. Now, this is just go to this python.org/downloads. It will bring you to this page. Now you, I'm, I'm on a Windows, so if you're on a Mac, Linux, Windows, or any OS you are using. You'll see it here. Just click on download Python, but make sure it's download the latest version for Windows. I'm on Windows, that's why it's bringing out Windows. If you're on Mac, it should be download the latest version for Mac OS, diffs, and so on, respectively, in your OS. Now, just click on this download Python 3.2, and when that is done, I'm just gonna cancel that because I already have Python. When that is done, we're also going to download the ID which I told you about the software we're going to use to code it and that's PyCharm now to do that you just come here you just search download PyCharm on Google and to bring you to this page and then we're oh, not downloading the professional the professional version now because it's not free and we don't actually need that but the community is free and open source so we can download it and use it I would like and I'm on the Windows that's why I click Windows if I'm on the Mac I'll click Mac actually and if I'm on Linux, I'll click Linux. But I'm on a Windows now. Then I'll click. Then the committee just click download, and it's going to download that. Then after doing that, we're going to go to the process of install installation installation process. Now come here to where to the downloaded folder. 
and this is the Python now let's install the Python just double click on it actually I have Python installed on my machine already on my laptop already so if you are just installing for the first time you shouldn't be seeing this because if not install it now I'm seeing modify repair on install you should see next next just click next next then till it's installed installation process finish and that's it yes I want to cancel then also for PyCharm if you want to install PyCharm just double click on it then this is what that should come up PyCharm is actually an huge file so you need a lot of RAM to run PyCharm on your system Current version of Python is ready installed. Do you wish to continue? Now they've told me that I already have this on my laptop, so I don't wish to continue. No, but if you don't have it on your laptop, you need to you need to continue with the installation. Just next, next, next. Just skip everything and then till yeah. So in the next video, that's all for this video. In the next video, we're gonna go deep into the programming into creating projects we'll create a project we'll talk about variables we'll give examples print hello world and stuff like that and straight and stuff so i think that's all for this video please don't forget to smash the like button subscribe and leave a comment if you have any question i'll sure to read on the comments bye